Today's vlog is super, super exciting because this is going to be my first ever barrel race on my new horse, Dakota, back here. So we're taking him to a very nice arena about two, two and a half hours away for our first run. So I am super excited. Let's go make him a hay bag for the trailer. I steamed all of this alfalfa in my hay gain hay steamer for him. This way it has a lot of moisture and it's nice and soft and perfect for the hay bag. I'll give you some in a minute. It's still really wet because I steamed it Good. this morning. Yeah. He really likes the steamed alfalfa better than regular alfalfa anyway. It's still a little hot. <laughs> still. That was several hours ago. I'm not going to overfill it so he can still eat out of it. Mm -hmm without it being a big pain. Chester's angry. Chester's not going. <laughs> I don't think he'll eat all of this on the way there. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, that hay bag is done. Chester. You happy? Two goals for this race. Um, to make it through the run, pretty much just see what happens, see where we're at, because this is my first run ever on him. I've never sent him really through the barrels, so just kind of try my best to get him to his spots and see what we do. Do I need to fill up his other one for the way back? I would. Okay. I'll probably tie that at the trailer for him That's anyway. I Can I fill up your alfalfa bag? I'm making sure he's not going to open the door. This one will be for the way home in case he eats all of the alfalfa in the first bag before we leave the race. I'm just gonna do about a flake. If it would all come out together, that would be great. That's plenty. <laughs> New little bite. We ready to get to run finally. <laughs> Ma'am, come here. Don't eat Chester's hay bag. <laughs> that might make Chester real mad. I'm so tempted to just take him through the tack room. It'd be so much faster. I could just go through the tack room. The Why'd you lay down? I'm gonna make a run. There's some horses. Come on. Ooh. Come on. <laughs> that was scary. We had it, but thank you. Okay, bud. Can you be a good boy and lead yourself in? Kind of higher. That's okay. Good boy. One thing about the little trailer I don't like is we don't have that fancy little camera to look at him. So I don't know what he's doing back there. <laughs> it's definitely um, kind of like first world problems, I guess, that I don't have a camera on him but it is nice to be able to see them. I think he'll ride just fine, but I've gotten very used to being able to stalk them the whole trip. We have made it to the arena. I'm gonna get him saddled up and try and get us a little exhibition so we can lope in the arena and just kind of get a feel for it. He's run here before and I have two, just not together yet. And he's getting a little drink of water. You got the thousand yard stare going. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna brush him off really quick so that we can get him saddled. Do you know you're at a race? Or are you just checking me for treats? I don't have any treats right now. You can get treats later.
too. You're fine. You're fine right where you are. Stay right there. Okay, good boy. Good boy. Get my saddle pad. I think I'm gonna use this one because it's a little shorter than the one I've been using. I just gotta make sure there's nothing under it because it's been in that trailer for who knows how long because I don't really haul in this trailer anymore. No hay or anything, so you're good. Yeah. It's a little dirty on the outside, but that's fine. Yeah, that one fits you a lot better. It's a little shorter. I'm just gonna see what ends up working for us because I don't know if the saddle pad will or not. But we're just experimenting a little. I'm riding in my normal barrel saddle that y'all always see me ride in today, and it is a master barrel saddle. They're just so itchy. <laughs> Are you just too itchy? You too itchy? Sure, that looks good. Okay. Not gonna do it too tight right now. That works. Yeah, that looks good. All the way up. A little skinny. Skinny. Not really, but skinnier than Chester, that's for sure. I love the way this Pendleton breast collar looks on him. It matches his fly mask. So I think that's what I'm gonna run him in today. You're good. You look good. Just gonna make sure it's not twisted. Now I have to go tighten it. I'll have to tighten it on the other side. Just a little. Make sure it fits you good. But you see, it looks it looks so good on him. I love it. You can't move. After I set up the tripod, it's rude. I will admit his braids are a little rough. I did not have time to rebraid them. I did not have time to rebraid them, so that's what we're working with here. At least barrel racers are not judged by how we or our horses look. He got some bed head. I'm gonna leave his tail in this barrel bling tail bag until our run, so I'll leave it in for the exhibition and then his tail can be Really pretty for our run. We are very early on the exhibition list. I'm number seven, but there's no one in front of me. So I'm gonna go warm him up and be there ready for that because they start in like five minutes. And then we have a long time after that until our actual run. So I just have some bell boots on him right now and I'll just bring him back and let him chill after we just lope through the barrels once and get a feel for the arena with each other. Now it is time for our exhibition. 
which is just a little practice run that you can pay for before the barrel race so you can get in there and work your horses before the race starts. This was really just for me to get a feel for this arena on him and kind of get my spots. I didn't give him enough room on the backside of the second and at the first I was just scared he was going to take off so I was too much in his mouth and then here at the third I went too wide and then that is why he hit it coming out of it. Okay, so I did hit two of the pop-up barrels. I swore up and down I only hit one, and then I watched the video and I hit the third too. But I got off, got the first barrel, and walked him out. He was so good. I was definitely scared he was just going to take off running if I put my hand down. So I really kind of overworked him a little and bumped my leg into the barrels, which I didn't feel them because they're just the exhibition pop-up barrels. So I know that I'll be smooching into my barrels when we make our actual run in about an hour or so. Um, so I don't feel like I need to be here to be perfect right now. I know that expectation is probably there, but you know, sometimes I just want to have fun. So that's what it's going to kind of be about today. I do want to, you know, do good, but I don't expect me to know what the heck is really going on just yet. This is my first run again on him ever. So I think he's ready to go. He was quite ready to go in the back in the holding pen before our exhibition. That's why I was a little worried that he was going to take off with me, but he looked so good. He was so good. Chester would have taken off, okay? Chester would have run those barrels like his life depended on it if I put one hand down, but Dakota was really nice. He was really good. He loped in for me, so I was really happy about that. It's just going to be a game of getting with him. Okay, now it has been um, some time and it's time to start getting him back ready to go warm up. And I actually started by getting his tail out of this super cute barrel bling tail bag. I've left it in here so it will be nice and wavy for our run and hopefully for the pictures of our run too. And here he is just looking so cute at the trailer and it's time to pick his feet. I like to pick his feet before I go run or warm up. I do this with all of my horses. This is just to really make sure there's no rocks or they're not packed down with dirt that feels like concrete or anything like that so that they're not uncomfortable during the warm up or the run just to have them be safer too in case there is a rock in there you don't want them to get a stone bruise because their soles and their feet are very very important so i do this on all four feet just kind of gently pick them up and then use the hoof pick to go around the outside of the sole and a little bit into the frog to really just make sure they are clean. And if you saw my last video, no, he did not lay down on me this time. I think he learned that um, I was going to still make him get up and still pick that foot anyway. And now it's time to put on his flare strip. With his previous owner, he had run in one, so I'm not going to change anything, and I chose this super pretty kind of turquoise flare strip because I knew I was going to have on some blue sports boots and a nice blue helmet so we can be matchy-matchy. I pet him because he did so good for me to stick that onto his cute little nose there and I swear it's straight okay don't look at it too long now it's time to put on his leg boots now typically and you'll see me do this on Chester I will warm up only in bell boots like I did for the exhibition however in this moment it's not super hot he's already warmed up once and I know it's not going to take me super long to warm him up again so I'm not really worried about that heat being on his legs. I was number 47 and I think I started getting these on around 30 something. So I knew I wasn't going to hop on and be on him for a super prolonged amount of time. And here I'm realizing that I should have waited to take that tail out of the tail bag before I decided to put the back boots on but the thinking process was not there now it's time to put on my troxel helmet to keep my noggin safe i had a comment calling me a helmet head so if you'd like to call me that i think that would be really funny now i'm gonna go warm him up again i know it's not gonna take me super long but it had been an hour since we had last warmed up so i did trot both ways pretty good and i lope both ways for quite sometime it was time for us to make our first run ever together and i was so nervous but so excited Oh my 
my gosh, I ain't never been anywhere that fast in my whole life. And I can only describe that as an out of body experience and my hands are still shaking. <laughs> well, good boy. I didn't video me getting the tack off, but once I got all of his tack off and gave him a drink of water and a treat, we went to go spray him off. So I'm spraying that sweat off and then for a long time I cold hose his legs. I normally would use ice bag boots, but we didn't have a way to freeze them and he very rudely took my hat off and threw it into the mud. It was a white hat too, so it was extra rude. And I made sure to get his hawks too and then it was time to head home and y'all, he ran my new personal best in this arena and got third in the open, winning us over $200. And I was really just hanging on and he did so, so good. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our next run. Bye.